channel. Today's video is super exciting because now that it is spring, I am getting back into my plant life, my herb life, my food life, okay? It's like I've come alive, all right? So if you don't know, I love plants. I had an apartment herb garden um, two years ago that I did a video on. I'll make sure to link that. But if you follow me on Instagram, you know, like, I love growing food at my home along with like having a bunch of house plants, right? So today I wanted to try to create an indoor herb garden for the herbs that I use the most. I'm really excited about this. <laughs> I love cooking with herbs and, and using them in drinks. If you know, I'm like an amateur mixologist. I try, okay? So I'm really excited about putting this together. I'm using materials from Ikea and I'll make sure I link everything below. Also, make sure to check out my blog post on this below. It'll have all of the details on everything I use, the screws, the anchors, blah, 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 blah. Okay. And I'm going to be putting it right here. I'm really excited to get started. Let me know if you have any questions, comments, but let's get into it. All right, you guys, this is the before of this area. So I'm gonna go ahead and take all this down. started off with some blue painters tape. I know some people like to use painters tape to do actual measurements. That's not really my thing. I actually like to use it just to be able to visualize. I want to see how the tape looks on the wall and make sure it's at like the right eyesight level for me. You know, I just, it really helps me kind of guide where I want to go. So then we measured, measured again, and then again, again. We tried to be as accurate as possible. Definitely didn't want to have to make more than one hole. So admittedly, we probably took a little too long measuring, but once we measured, um, we did go ahead and put in anchors. Although you may think plants are light and, you know, can't be that heavy, um, the rack and the plants are actually metal or some like form of like heavy metal like material um, and they do have some weight to them and then once you put the plants in the pots they really have some weight to them so if you are um, drilling directly just into drywall you definitely want to use anchors because it is not light. We also used black screws for these. Um, most of you probably know Ikea, a lot of Ikea's like curtain rods, things like that. They don't come with screws to connect something to the wall. Um, we happen to have these black screws on hand, but I did link some down below. But these just look really, really sleek and clean. I feel like if you had silver screws, it would be okay, but it wouldn't be the same. Okay, let's just say that. So these look really, really good. So we're just gonna put this in and then the other rack and then we'll be good to go.
I wanted to make sure I gave you guys a close-up of these pots. They come with the hook, but they also have a little disc inside that kind of creates a little bit of drainage, which is really, really good. Although they do have that, I'm actually going to go ahead and add some pebbles in the bottoms of my pots. These are from the Dollar Tree, nothing fancy. Um, just to give it a little extra, you know, drainage. I really don't want any root rot, any dead plants, if I can avoid it. Don't consider myself an expert, you guys. I just use kind of the things that I've tried and worked for me. Trust me, if you saw me in the beginning of quarantine, I killed like three basil plants in a row. I just couldn't get it right, okay? But we all learn and I'm learning and I'm still there. So if you wanna give me some tips and pointers, you're more than welcome, but this is what I'm doing. I'm just loosening up the roots on the bottom of the plants before I put them in. I like to put a drop cloth down whenever I'm doing anything plant related in the house. You can get drop cloths obviously at like the Dollar Tree or I buy them in bulk from Lowe's so I'll make sure I link that below as well. When I initially was looking at this product to see if it would work for what I wanted, um, the size of it sounded like only two pots each would look good. Um, I didn't want it to look crowded. I didn't want it to, you know, something about it. I just, I just kind of played it safe here. This is me putting the four pots on and I feel like as soon as I put on that basil, I was like, mm, I like it, but it could use more. Like it, it, I feel like it, I felt like it needed to be filled out a little more. This is how it looks with four pots. And this is how it looks with six. You guys, six is the right number. I love the way this looks. I mean, just, just look at it. I love how sleek and modern it looks you guys the black and the green oh my colors okay I've grown all of these herbs before granted I haven't grown any of them well I don't, I've only grown mint indoors but so this will be a new experience for the other ones but I'm really really happy with how this turned out um, please let me know if you have any questions any care questions um, and like I said, I'll have everything linked down below, but thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you think and don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks guys.